against the backdrop of four separate but recent incidents of drowning. Long-standing member and trustee of the St. Lucia Lifesavers Association, Terrell Compton, is calling for a renewed and invigorated approach to safety in and around water. I think a lot has to be done. As, as we know, we have heard of many drownings of late, sadly. And, um, you know, my heart goes out to the families. Um, I just lost a colleague, uh, Mark, who worked with the uh, Sandals Resorts. Um, and this gentleman was a strong swimmer. Um, he was fit, played veterans football, you know, um, you know, a hard-working gentleman. But um, sadly, um, found himself in the water and was not able to survive um, so condolences to the family and, and I say that because it shows that even persons who can swim can actually find themselves in trouble. Compton who serves as the water sports manager for Sandals Grand says many of the drownings are avoidable by simple adherence to well-established guidelines. If we look at the you know swim to save a life program um, you know these programs are dedicated to schools where you don't need the use of water so a PE teacher, for example, and if given the opportunity through the Ministry of Education, um, we can set up a program where this, with supportive information, can be utilized by teachers, PE teachers for, for one, um, to show kids how to be safe in the water or near the water even and if there is an emergency what can they do then we need to lobby with the government to have erected on our beaches equipment uh, for example the shepherd's hook it's about a pole that is anywhere from 20 to 30 feet long um, with a hook on the end that one can extend and can help save a life a life ring with rope that you can now throw out to someone who is in danger though you may not have the lifeguards on the beaches yet and this has been um, talks that we've had in the past and we're still going to continue to have um, at least the apparatus is there then PSAs can go out public service announcements on how to use these things with persons like yourself giving us the support that we need um, Stanley I believe that um, it is possible to get the message out there to the general populace and therefore persons who frequent the beach or the rivers you know can have a means of saving one's life not for the first time the St. Lucia Life Savers Association is calling on civic groups government agencies and the media to partner with it in the effort to educate the public and to equip particularly the more popular beaches with rescue devices that could result in saving lives. Stanley Lucien for the HS News Force.